Hi, Shumai, Chrysa, you blab Bobby Hook do baby. Upla Daddy Pedwar, point scythe. Only read point scythe tree. Lovely. Make any that no dost. Die that no dost. Ers Borma. Ang hoviai si wind ar toast ir gwaith. Felly, ma ma mai tenna fe a menin. A me an hyfryd. Dwi wedi colli y darn o farddoniaeth o sgwennus i ar dderbyneb. It's an English poem, come song, which discusses the placid futility that overtook me on a eight-hour special Trous Cambria bus. As I remembered, trying walking from a college town to a university city to see my love and for my endeavour and for my endeavour Witnessing Witnessing Forget forgetting basic common sense canvassing not thinking distracting not a playing not a playing despairing admiring Congratulating, forgetting, wondering, wondering, wondering. Dyma ma in sgwennusi dda mae fy anallu a rhywbeth y ran wireddau mor anodd yw ymdopi a cholli dyddoniau wrth i'r cymalau grebachu mewn gwagleoedd sy'n sychu fel corin ar ddiweddu daeth ar draws gwastatur yng nghanol y paeth. Ar we ar y goeden wybodaeth, dwi'n ni tywod yn cuddio ein lleisio anghydfod sy'n ffrwtian ar flaen ein tyfodau ac ysgwyd mewn braw mae ein hofnau wrth ystyried mae bwriad a nodau y rheini yw byw y rhan wireddau. A fy anallu sy'n creu yr amodau. 
i bwy wytyn pleidleisio ar ddiddiau. Mr. Bridgen, I'm crossing the road. So mae'r ddwy gerdd yna fydd yn gynaeon mewn munud yn Mae'n rhyfedd mae'n cysylltu ei gilydd. Wrth gydnabod the placid futility of it all. So, we are now in a suitable mood and ambience and frame of mind to venture forward. <coughs> to listen to track five? Five? Yes, The Gunner's Dream, a particular favourite of people I've heard. I've seen several people herald this as a classic. The f previous four songs are all classics in their own right. They have plenty of unique attributes. They they resonate again. If I use that again, you, you have permission to turn me off. They, if I do this again, you have permission to turn me off. They... <coughs> if I cough again, you have permission to turn me off. They are all different, although brought together with acoustic and electric guitars and that whiny Roger atonal drone of a voice that he has, but with plenty of lyrical emotion, pleading and honest reflective which you get from me too especially when no one's in the house where I can actually not worry about being distracted as yet more families walk down the road on tricycles bicycles with pedals and supporting frames on wheels with wheels which kind of makes you wonder why those um, bikes without pedals weren't invented earlier when I was a child. Maybe. Okay. So let's listen to the song. This is Pink Floyd, not Roger Waters on his own. <laughs> It's 
sounds like middle of the road balladry when it comes in with that sax solo. And that's the genius of this. This is a middle of the road sound, but with probably the most extreme poetic, real commentary of grief and despair again, despair. But with vivid, subtle, pastel descriptions of suffering and loss. Pastel because it's not a rock song. It's a ballad. It's got orchestral embellishment once more but there's something uneasy about Roger's voice it's not a middle of the road croon it's Roger telling everybody how mucked up he is with this burden in his conscience and he wants to get it out via musical expression. <laughs> Pink Floyd. You tell me. Shine on you crazy diamond. Dogs. There's a diverse sound just in those two epics. Is there a Pink Floyd sound? The sax was quite prevalent, if I, my memory serves me rightly, on Dark Side of the Moon. So once more we're having echoes of the Pink Floyd trademark sax. It reminds me of the Waterboys Red Army Blues as well, which is a classic. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. I think we may have that on cassette if we do i'm certainly going to play the second waterboys album to you which i listened to first on 12 inch the b-side of december quite a magnificent song although it's been eroded in its impact recently by my general um diva terror my apathy towards uh well overexposed songs I suppose overplayed it's lost somewhat of its uh, emotional impact but this album this is a sign of a classic you see because such is the depth and the the turmoil of its contents that you you can tune into it and hear new things. This is why I've chosen this album to, you know, I got this cassette for four pound. I was willing to pay four pound for it because I knew I'd get my value for money out of it. You know, unfortunately, the lyrics aren't printed on the cover, so I can't reference carefully what's going on. But as I've said previously, never mind. It's all right because the sax is telling me now that life is a drudge. If it was David Gilmore on s guitar, people would say that's the Pink Floyd we know and love. But maybe it would not convey art. It would just convey rockist 
personality. A place to stay. Enough to eat. Somewhere old heroes shuffle safely down the street. Where you can speak out loud about your doubts and fears. And what's more, no one ever disappears. You never hear the standard issue kicking in your door. You can relax on both sides of the tracks and maniacs. Don't blow holes in bandsmen by remote control. And everyone has recourse to the law. And no one kills the children anymore. I'm waiting for Michael Jackson and the other one who died under suspicious circumstances, you know, the female one, to join in in a we are the world type of refrain. What a song, what an absolutely top 50 song this is. It creeps up on you. You realise when you listen to it, you cannot make entertainment of it. It is a work of art. And it's not fodder. It's not something to play on the radio or put on a screen as background music for children who are suffering from over-exuberance to screens. It trudges along on a cloud. It's higher than this earth, but it drags our putrid, futile placidity to turn my poem round. And it slaps it in its face. It says, how dare you wear a shirt like that? Nevertheless, you're quite free to wear a shirt like this. If you want to wear a shirt like this and shave closely for the first time in three months and then rub moisturising aftershave into your skin, you may do so. Hugh, you are allowed to do so and possibly look a trifle overweight in the process. You may drink your black wittard middle class tea from your red flask without feeling like you've betrayed your mother and father's admittedly agricultural working class roots. No one kills the children anymore. So I've got to let this go, haven't I? I'm 
mother and daughter get into their Volkswagen Beetle. Button your lip and don't let the shield slip. Take a fresh grip on your bulletproof mask. And if they try to break down your disguise with their questions, you can hide, hide, hide. What an absolute genius follow-up to a genius song. This Paranoid Eyes experience is... I'm living it. I'm living it. I'm, I'm so glad I'm recording it because it's real. It's real. And did you hear that little percussive instrument, the one that rattles, the rattler? We'll call it the rattler. Well, I'm soothed by the rattler. I'm not I'm not motivated to get up and protest. I'm just resigned to my I'm going to say the word again. Resonating despair. But I want to hear more to see whether my eyes and my mask are aligned or is that the real me there? You see me there here that's me what you see here is not me surely that's me there you see me there can you see me <laughs> You put on your brave face and slip over the road for a job. Fixing your grin as you casually lean on the bar. Laughing too loud at the rest of the world with the boy. So there's an elephant in the room here, isn't there, musically? Because you can hear elements of the ha 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 uh, Dark Side of the Moon stuff. And you can hear Hey You from the wall. And you can hear elements, which is so beautiful because they are the connections that make it Pink Floyd. Be it 73 Pink Floyd or... 79 Pink Floyd, but this is 83 Pink Floyd. So all all I say is it is Pink Floyd and it's a beautiful piece of art. You believed in their stories of fame, fortune and glory. Now you're lost in a haze of alcohol, soft middle age. The pie in the sky turned out to be miles too high. Okay, that, I'll be honest with you, that's the only situation 
the only segment that we've been playing where I felt, hang on, has this lost its impetus? Has it lost its inertia? Is it dragging musically the pace too long? Is it when the tigers broke free? Is that on this version? No, it's not. That's interesting. So um, I apologise for that. I didn't realise I would have. I would have. I wouldn't have played the type if I would realised that when the tigers broke free wasn't on this particular version. But um, yeah, I can see people criticising this as saying well, Rogers being self-indulgent here because he's just droning on. But because, um, frankly, I felt maybe it's because I'm tired after a bit of a bit of too much too much work, too much work. Let's hear how long it goes on for, and. Um, maybe because i'm looking at the cassette the the reels on the tape and there's a lot of tape left but i think that the second side is longer than the first side that's the reason for that one and you hide 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 <laughs> know who it reminds me of? It reminds me of Dexie's Midnight Runners. Don't stand me down. What's she like? The way Roger and Dexie's front man, what's his name? Kevin Rowland, drone on. I love this white noise here. This is highlighted, heightened by the Grundig French record um, cassette player. Listen to this just general fuzz. And I think that's suitable on a cassette, you see, because this silence is a part of the process of getting the whole thing to your ears. And it's um, magnetic. We are in a magnetic universe, aren't we? Unequivocally, and no doubt at all that we are in a magnetic electric universe. And I have news to tell you. But the news has been cancelled for the time being. The time being 29 minutes since we started when I push the button in a sugar babe style e, I will be off thank you for listening please subscribe to this nonsense let's try and get Bobsy as an English speaking cult personality thank you